In today's video, I'm taking the Porn Star Martini to a whole new classy level. Hey Drinks fans, I am Steve DeBarman and I give you drinks and cocktail inspiration around some of your favorite brands. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel and then dive into some of my other content once you've finished watching this video. And in this video, I'm really, really excited. This is coming off the back of a few other uh, kind of videos that I've rolled out recently. It's keeping in with the Porn Star Martini theme. Today, I'm gonna take the Porn Star Martini to a whole new classy level for you. This is gonna be a completely and utterly different serve to what you'd be used to. But I just wanted to kind of do something different. All within keeping of the whole kind of vanilla and passion fruit martini theme, which is essentially what a porn star martini is. It's actually gonna get served up in my lovely kind of little Nick and Nora glass, a little martini glass. Um, you could do a bigger version of this, you just need to adapt the uh, the recipe, the ratios of uh, amount of liquid you use, basically. So I'm just gonna chill that down nicely to one side, uh, and I've got a shot glass for my Prosecco just chilling away down there as well. Now this is, uh, the the vodka I'm gonna use for this is absolute um, passion fruit. I have to say, he's actually one of my favorite uh, absolutes. I'm not a huge absolute vodka fan. I do prefer JJ Whitley because if I want a vodka, I want it to put a flavored vodka. I want it to pop with flavor. I don't want it to be subtle or just lovely kind of delicate flavor. If I want a vanilla vodka, I want it to pop of vanilla. Hence why I do use JJ instead of uh, JJ Vanilla instead of Absolute, instead of Smirnoff, instead of Grey Goose, instead of Stolly. It just pops. However, this Absolute Passion one, Passion Fruit, it, it's almost there. It could. I've got a funny feeling if JJ did a Passion Fruit vodka, it would be head and shoulders above that. But it is actually one of Absolute's best. Now, this one. Uh, it's going to get stirred down. There's no shaking involved in this, so I'm going to do uh, 50 mil of uh, my absolute uh, passion fruit, I nearly said vanilla then, absolute passion fruit vodka, so 50 ml double bubble. So that is the passion fruit uh, of the drink going in. The next ingredient I want is some vanilla, and I'm going liquor 43, Spanish liqueur, 43 herbs and spices, but the big overriding flavor in this is uh, vanilla, and it is gorgeous, it is so, so tasty. So, and I'm just going uh, 15, one five mil of uh, liquor 43. Pretty easy to get. I think even quite a lot of supermarkets carry this these days, but easy to get online as well. Now, for me personally, um, I'm just going to add a little touch of sugar because I think that's where the absolute passion fruit lacks, just in that little bit of flavor. So I'm just going to add, uh, I'm just gonna do 10 mil. 10 mil of vanilla, of uh, plain sugar. That's all I want. Whoops, bit, bit too much. There we go, perfect. 10 mil, and these cool things with these measures. Just, so it'll all, it'll all drain out. How's that? <laughs> so I'm just playing about with these. Anyway, so that is essentially my passion fruit and vanilla martini. Right, leave that to one side. Now this is good, just gonna get stirred down. So I'm just gonna add some, fresh ice in there. I'm gonna use my spoon, which way, yeah, let's go that way. I'm just gonna stir this down for about 30 seconds. Right, that's been going for about 30, so I'm just gonna add a few more cubes of ice. My general rule of thumb, what I say when I'm stirring, is I try and double the amount of liquid. That's my general rule of thumb. So whether it's old fashions or martinis, me personally, I just try and double the amount of liquid. So that's obviously the ice. Uh, dilution melting there, and I just think that's perfect for me. So another 30. Right, I think that's almost there. Now you might just wanna try this, just for your own personal palate, you might need a little bit of extra sugar. It's completely up to you. You might even decide you want a bit more liquor 43. But that, that is actually pretty damn good. Right, uh, so I'm just gonna uh, pop that in there, get rid of my ice out of my little Nick and Nora glass. Love these little um, little martini glasses. Just single strain that in there. Perfect. Right. And then, obviously, gonna serve this up. That's nice and cold as well. Ice. 
as you go and classy, ideally, you want some proper champagne for this, ideally, but I've just got Prosecco. I'm just, uh, I don't even drink it. I've just got little baby bottles, just purely for cocktails. Go. More frizzante. Open through the week, so. There we go. And then could garnish it, if you want, with a little passion fruit. But that is my classy porn star martini. Passion fruit martini. And I have to say, that, that absolutely tastes phenomenal. That, I think it's one of those things with that vodka. I think once you add a bit of dilution to it, or another flavor or something, maybe a touch of sugar, it really does pop of flavor. And they really do get the passion fruit coming out in that. That is a stunning, classy, kind of just passion fruit and vanilla martini. I am a big, big fan of that. Popping up on screen now will be even more porn star martinis for you to dive into if you want to flip up your whole vanilla and passion fruit martini game. So go and check those out and I will see you in the next video.